Hi everyone, welcome. Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, so it's time for Stamping with Denise. So glad you're here. It's so nice to see you. Um, I'm not gonna waste a lot of time. We're gonna get a little bit of housekeeping, then we're gonna write down to making a really cute card today. Um, please, if you like my video, please share my video, comment, share down in the comments, and your name may be randomly chosen to win the card I'm working on tonight. Last week I made this cute celebration card, and this is going to go to, let me see here, Darlene Clark. So Darlene, I'll get this card out to you. Thank you so much for sharing my video, and thank you to everybody who does that. I appreciate it. If you can't share, I understand. At least give my video a heart. Um, Facebook likes the hearts better than the thumbs up. It helps it um, do better on the algorithm, so that helps me out too. If you're watching on YouTube, welcome. Um, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. And once you do, hit the little blue button and you'll receive notifications whenever I upload a new video. And that's most Monday evenings. Now, I won't be here next Monday because it is Memorial Day here in the U.S. But then I will be back the following week, okay? So I'm going to switch hand, or switch views down to my hands and we're going to get started on a really cute card. Okay, so the card we're going to work on today is this one here. And this uses the Cheerful Daisies Bundle. I just love this bundle. It is so versatile. Um, so many things you can do with it. And so I'm going to show you how to make this card. i got to look something up in the catalog real quick because I didn't grab the name of something. So, okay. So I think we're ready to go. And we are going to get started with this making this card. So first of all, this is a piece of shaded spruce. It is eight and a half by five and a half. And of course, like usual, we are going to fold it in half. And then we will use our bone folder to make a nice crease, okay? There we go. Now, we have a, a larger piece of white cardstock. This is five and a quarter by four to go on the inside. Because it's a dark color, we want to use that for the, to write on on the inside. If we're using a lighter color cardstock, um, we wouldn't need to. Like if this card base was Flirty Flamingo, or Lemon Lolly, or Balmy Blue, or something like that, we wouldn't need that. But the, the green's kind of dark. So we're going to put that there. Um, and before we do anything else on this card, before we attach it, whoops, I got something I didn't need here. We are going to stamp our sentiment first. Whenever you have a ch the opportunity, I always suggest that you stamp first in case you mess up. Then you can flip it over and use the other side or, you, you know, I'd hate to have you do all this work and then not stamp it right after you've attached everything to it. So it's always good to do your stamping first because even, even, um, um, what am I trying to say? Seasoned stampers don't always get it right the first try, okay? So this, I am stamping this sentiment, wishing you the brightest birthday in shaded spruce. And there we go. Even still, sometimes it's a little scary if I stamp on something that's already had some work done on it. It worries me because I hope I don't screw up. You know how that is. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this card front. This piece is four and three quarters by three and a half. And this mat here is three and three quarters by five. So they're just, you know, our, our general mat sizes. So. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on my card base. Okay, there we are. So 
So I am so glad that summer is just about here. We had kind of a rainy weekend here this weekend, but we needed it, so that's okay. Now I'm gonna take a piece. You don't know no, first, I'm gonna, I have some more stamping to do. We're gonna stamp this flower here, okay? So I have two stamps of the flower. This one is the outline. This is the inside. And it's okay. I'm going to stamp these both in flirty flamingo. So it's going to be a tone on tone, which is okay. Because, um, I mean, I, I could do them in, con you know, different shades of pink. But I think this will work just fine. Okay. Put that over there. And this is the color in the inside. Make sure it's all inked up. It's really pretty easy to line up and this is why the photopolymer stamps are so great because you can see through them. Look at that, how nicely that looks. Yay, I'm off a little bit, but you know what? I really, it really doesn't bother me. Sometimes it, that bothers me, not on this. And I've, I've said before, I'll say it again, this is Lemon Lolly, one of our new colors. I like, um, stamping flowers and things like that because none of them are exactly the same. So I feel like if it's not perfect, it's okay. Let me see which way. This is the center. Let me see which way I want to put this. I'll put it right like that. And again, it's not perfect, but it's okay because it's the center of the flower. And sometimes it's nice when it's not so perfect, you know? Okay, didn't mean to slam that down. Now we're ready to do some die cutting. We're gonna die cut out, we're gonna cut this flower out using the outline for the larger. Let me get some washi tape. My Washi tape is my friend. Okay, let me figure out how this goes. It goes right like that. So let me get. And then I just I just adhere the stamp or the die to a part of the cardstock that's not going to be part of my design. Okay. And now this is a piece of the textured 12 by 12 shimmer paper. I've used this before. It's textured. It's got a little bit of a shine to it. It's the same on both sides. Um, I didn't bring the whole package over and I should have, but it has white, it has balmy blue, and this shaded spruce. And we are going to cut out of this. This out of the shimmer paper. It's kind of corrugated like cardboard is, you know? Okay. I'm going to put this, let me get this out of my way. Here we go. Let me cut this out first. and run that through. Okay, set that off to the side. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the flower. I'm gonna get these little pieces off of here. Run this back through here. Catch, there we go. Okay, and while you're here, a little trick that I do to help my my plates stay flat, because these were kind of warped not long ago, and I hadn't been doing it with this machine, but I like to take them, I like to stack them up the way they go in the machine, but I turn them over, and then I will store them like this, so it stores them, pushes the center where it's bowed, 
so that it helps flatten them out. I mean, it doesn't fix it completely, but it helps. And I do that with my big machine too. I think it works better on with the little plates, probably because they're thinner, but that's okay. Okay, put this back over here. There we go, okay. And I'm gonna take this off of here. There's a lot of little pieces in the in this die, but let me get my pokey tool here. Okay. Oh, and I'm so excited in the new catalog. There's some new attachments for the um, you pick it tool. Look at this. There's a blade. There is a. Let me show you what else there is. There's a little wheel that cuts like a serrated edge. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. And it has a guard over it. Um, and the other thing that was in there was a, yes, a double edged, this is another pokey tool. And this end has a little hook end. And then other, other ones you can buy are you know, the die brush to loosen things up out of the die. I believe this came with it. I don't remember which came with it, which I bought extra. This is a stylus, you know, for like the embossing tool. And then of course, this is the putty end for picking up tiny small pieces. And there are refills for the putty end. So, although I've had mine since it came, the, it, the tool first came out and I've never, I'm still on my first one, so you don't have to. I guess it depends how often you use it, but let's do this here. I'm just trying to release this here from the dime. There is some small pieces in this, but um, it's not terrible. But I'm excited about the little knife because you know I always use a knife to put my I like to use it to put my embellishment on like a cut grief this is not this hard folks it's one of those days where I can't talk and chew gum at the same time there we go okay I'm not now there are some things to poke out right here and here and here I'm not gonna worry about these because these are gonna be covered up but I'm gonna go ahead and poke those out right there I could have used the die brush too, but I'm not too worried about that. And I think I got everything. It's okay. It works. Let me get rid of the trash. Okay. The only thing that worries me about using this blade end for my embellishments is that it's awfully long. But you know what? We'll use it. That's okay. So, we are going to attach this piece right here and I got pieces falling out. I'm trying to decide the best way to do this. I'm going to try a little bit of, I'm going to try some of my Tombow adhesive glue. Okay. And I'm going to get a piece of scrap paper here to do this on. I think it's going to be okay here. It's not coming out a lot, but that's okay. I think it's got a little bit of a clog in it. If not, I can use glue dots too. And I'm not going to put all of this adhesive on all of these petals. Make sure I get enough to hold it down here. My well, cards I made a couple weeks. I don't know. I don't remember when it was. I got too much glue on it. And I had to take some off. Okay. 
Um, I'm gonna use this to pick this up. My tweezers. Put this right on here. Perfect. Okay. And what I like about this card too, you notice there's no dimensionals on it. It's flat. Um, so it's not going to be bulky to mail. And I did that on purpose. Um, and you know, again, I think I'm going to use this glue because sometimes the um, seal doesn't stick to the, you know, things that are corrugated or bumpy or textured. Hold on here, guys. Hold on. I have a little paper clip here that sometimes I use to... Oops, now I'm getting a good amount out. Okay. Perfect. I'll put this right on here. There we go. That works great, like that. Okay, now the next thing I have, we have some embellishments here. And again, this card, these are like my new go-to things, the Iridescent Rhinestone Basic Jewels. I'm gonna try using my knife to put them on and see how it is. Because they're great, because they, they pick up any color. They're kind of like the rhinestone, you know, gems. Um, and if sometimes they'll kind of take on the color of your project too, so um, got a little bit of glue there. I'm gonna get that off of there. Hold on, adhesive eraser. I mean, it's kind of a misnomer, it's not really an eraser, it's a piece of rubber and it just picks it up. So it doesn't really erase it, but that's what they call it. Okay, so put one. Let's put a bit down here. And a couple of these small ones here. There we go. And there you are. That's a great birthday card for anyone. I think you could certainly alter the colors. If you didn't have this, um, um, oh, I like I said, textured shimmer paper, I think you could use another color cardstock and it would work well. Um, this stamp set, not along with the brightest birthday wishes, it also has the, you made my day, oops -a daisy I'm so sorry, and your friendship means anything. Um, sentiments in this stamp set, so it's really quite versatile. But I hope you like the card. Now remember, I won't be here next week because it's Memorial Day, but I will see you on, let me look at my calendar. That'll be Monday, June 5th. Okay, guys, I will see you in June. Take care and have a great couple weeks and be crafty. Bye now.